hello everybody welcome back to another vlog and if you guys are new to the channel then my name is jenna welcome so i am just sat here in the car as you guys could see i haven't been able to vlog from the car in a really long time because i don't have a car while i'm in the city obviously because i don't really need one um as you can probably hear this rumbling i'm gonna turn it off so on the agenda for this weekend, I am going skiing with a few of my friends and I left work an hour early to go to the liquor store, but my mom ended up going for me while I was at work. So that was very convenient because it's now 3.33 and I have to be ready at four and I have nothing packed because I had a meeting yesterday at one of our brands headquarters and then we had a dinner afterwards and I was so exhausted afterwards that I got home and basically cuddled with Enzo for 10 minutes and then passed out. Um, it was a little bit before 11 and I just like didn't have it in me to pack. And then I was like, no, I'll just do it in the morning, which I kind of like was going to do, but it is raining slash like sleeting right now. Um, the temperature is going down like throughout the day, which is interesting because I feel like it normally gets warmer throughout the day, but it is getting colder. So we had like ice warnings and things like that this morning. So I didn't know if I was going to be going into work. So I was like talking with my coworkers and seeing what the situation was. One of them, her son, um, his school got canceled. So I was like, okay, well, normally when the schools are canceled, that means that we don't go in because if they're closing the schools, then it's probably like hazardous conditions. But I ended up going into work. So I was like, you know, walking around thinking that I wasn't going into work and that I was. So all of a sudden I had to like get ready and leave. So now I'm back. I have zero makeup on because I, like I said, didn't have any time to get ready this morning. And now I have to pack my bag. So skiing is a whole different animal, but basically I'm just going to try, my stomach is making the weirdest noises, but my strategy is to just stick with loungewear because normally when I go skiing, I just layer up like my leggings and stuff. And really the only important things that I need are my pants and my jacket. So when I was younger, I had a scarring experience where I forgot my jacket, not even at like in New Jersey, we were in North uh, New Hampshire and I left my jacket at the house and my dad was like, we're not going back. And he had to buy a jacket for me in the store. I felt so terrible because they upped the price in there. Like the markup is probably 800%. I don't even know, but it was insane and I felt so bad. So I literally never forget my jacket anymore. So I'm just not concerned with the packing. Normally I make a list, but this is the first time in a very long time that I haven't made a list. So let's hope I don't forget my underwear or something stupid because fun fact, that's the reason why I started making my packing list was because I forgot underwear one time and had to buy some. So I have to grab my stuff, get inside. Um, I'm using my sister's snowboard, um, which I actually have to ask her for permission because... <laughs> Um, she's the only one out of me and my two sisters that has equipment that she owns. I have to buy skis, but I am waiting to buy them at the end of the season. So I'm snowboarding this weekend, which will be fun because I haven't gone in maybe two years. Last year I had shoulder surgery. If you guys have been on the channel for a while, that's probably when I first started doing vlogs was when I had surgery, which is like the most random time to do it. But, um, yeah, so I snowboarded two years ago, but since then I haven't at all. So... I mean, I think it's like riding a bike basically, but now that I'm older, I have like, I don't know. I feel like I'm more cautious than I was when I was younger, but I'm just going to be using her equipment, which is easy. I just have to like get it out from under wherever crevice in the garage it's been sitting in since the last person used it. And then hopefully by the end of the season, I will just use some of my savings to get my own stuff because I'm an adult now. I need to have my own set of skis and renting over time is just going to become so expensive. My mom was like, we'll just keep renting. And I was like, I don't have the money for that lady. Okay. So we're going to buy some equipment, make an investment. I will have them until I'm 40 years old. My dad had his skis since he was younger. Like he had the same pair that he had since he was in his twenties and he had them all the way until he was probably in his late forties. So not something that, you know, you have to replace every five years or something like that. Anyway, I am going to head inside, but I also, <laughs> if I can show you, I wanted to show you guys what shoes I'm wearing. This is ridiculous. I'm wearing my Adidas Gazelles and this position hurts. So I'm putting my shoes back down. Um, but I left these at home when I moved out and I was fully going to sell them. I have them in red, which was a dumb decision. I don't know why I ever bought them in red because red matches nothing. And maybe my now neutral self would have known that, but it was a growing experience. Um, but I have the black ones that I was also going to sell, but I looked at them and I was like, 
I feel like they're kind of a vibe. So I put them on my story and I was like, are these a vibe or are they not? Because I'm a little bit confused. I don't know if I was just missing them and that's why I'm acting this way. But people were like, yeah, um, we love them. So you're probably going to see them on my Instagram feed very soon because I have like now that I'm like confirmed from other people that they're a vibe. I'm like, all right, we're wearing this with all black. We're going to wear my black coat. We're going to wear this and that and all the stuff. So, um, yeah, I love them. I will link them for you guys because they're still available. I feel like it's one of their classic styles that they never, you know, get rid of. But I need to stop talking to you because I'm actually going to be late. And even though I'm like thinking that I'm going to be a speedy packer, I'm stuck in the... The belt of my jacket has been outside the car the entire time I've been driving. Huh. It's not even wet. That's so strange. Um... But yeah, I think that I'm like the quickest packer in the world, but then everything just ends up taking longer than I think it is. But that's with most things like time management is not one of my like biggest skills. I'm normally on time, but I don't normally give myself enough time to do stuff. So I end up rushing around, which is fine. You know, we all have our things, but yeah, I need to first of all, move the car because I parked it in the center of the driveway where no one can get by like an ass. And then... We are gonna get packing. Timestamp is now 344. I don't have anything packed. This is actually all of my laundry. So my mom tells me to bring home my dirty laundry every time I come home because she enjoys doing laundry and she likes doing that for us. And I came downstairs this morning and she had already started doing it and just folded everything in here like perfectly. I just can't sometimes. She's really just an angel. Um, but yeah, I'm bringing like my set active leggings, like the ones that I'm wearing right now, just to layer up with my pants. And then I have all of my other ski stuff is just downstairs separate from the rest of my clothes. Actually, I think that's a lie. I think I brought it upstairs, but I am going to put you guys on a time lapse for me packing. And if you think it's sped up, it probably is, but then I'm also sprinting. So it's just going to be double time than it normally is. And someone's ready to come inside. Oh my gosh. She looks so cute. Come on in. <laughs> You're so cute, Benny. I missed you. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, so we're in the car now. You guys are not going to be able to see any of us, but I'll just show you them anyway. Lauren and Jess are in the back. We have Marina, the driver, and Leah is the co-pilot. Hi, Um, It's sleeting and the, the windows are turning into ice, but we're doing fine so far. But Lauren and Marina packed us little snack packs for Valentine's Day. There's like um, little hearts in here. What are they? Sour Patch. Sour Patch hearts, which I've never even heard of in my life. The blue ones are my favorite so far. And then Fun Dip, which like, I don't know if anyone knows what this is. I feel like I'm so old, but like Fun Dip is still a thing, isn't it? Yeah, we bought 90 packs. The stick tastes disgusting though. Can we agree? Great stick. Okay. Yeah. The stick is gross. It's just there for <laughs> functionality purposes, but yeah. Highlight of the trip so far. So it can only go up from here. <laughs> so that's good for you. Know, we like yeah. 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 So we gotta be careful with that. Oh yeah, the sheets. This is literally what happens when you travel with five girls. <laughs> Just getting lost. Okay, so we're here. We are unloading everything. The kitchen is getting set up. This is the living room. So nice and cute. The plaid adds a really cute detail. And then we're gonna go upstairs. Of course, I have to give a house tour. It's like what I'm known for. It's not, but you know. Okay. So you come up here, there's a nice little balcony so you can see down into the den. And then we have the first bedroom over here. It's huge. Like this makes me so sad about the fact that I live in a shoebox, but you know, we can't have it all. <laughs> and then this is the second bedroom right next to it. And I think there is a bathroom connected to this one. Yeah. There's a nice little ensuite. Oh. I want to turn on the fan. 
There's a nice little ensuite. Oh my gosh, there's a tub. I haven't been here in like 10 years, so I completely forget what everything is like. It's me looking like a train wreck. And then I feel like the bedrooms are all pretty similar. And then if we go over here, there's like a big hall closet. Oh no, this is a laundry, which I didn't even know about, but won't be necessary anyway. I'm only here for two nights. And then this is the third bedroom, which I feel like is kind of cozy. It's the smallest one. So maybe I'll just stay in here, but haven't decided yet. And then this one has a bathroom right next door, which I feel like is the same as the other one. And just a shower, but not that I'm gonna be taking a bath, but who knows? You just never know. Um, but yeah, so we are just unpacking all of our stuff now, getting the kitchen all set up. And then we're just gonna do like a wine night, like a girls night, um, cause our other guy friends are coming tomorrow. But we just wanted to have a night where we could just chill, have some wine, play some games. Um, one of the girls just brought like three different games that we were gonna play. So I'm a game person and we are unpacking. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'm looking absolutely terrible. Lauren <laughs> just braided her hair. Um, last horribly because she was hurting she braided her own hair and she was like these look so bad because I'm hurting myself <laughs> but anyway we had a wine night last night and I decided to tan my face which you're looking at my face right now and you're like there's no way you put tanning drops on and I actually think that I did not put them on my face but I woke up with hands like this can we see the cut crease on my thumb and I remember being like, oh, I don't need to wash it off. Like, that's a myth. It's not a myth. Wash your freaking hands. When you, and this is the evidence. Summer Fridays and Isle of Paradise. Like, do, just don't do that. Don't. But we have our little shower caddies. We're going to get ready for the mountain. It's kind of, <laughs> what time is it? It's late. It is like 11 a.m. I think the mountain opens at 9, but we... Had a bunch of breakfast, which was so good. I woke up at 8.15 and then I went back to bed. And then I woke up again. Wait, did I bring a second? Oh, I did bring another Mario Badescu. It's a full tube. Love to see it. Cause I'm literally so tired. You need lip stuff? Try this, it's so good. Like best lip balm I've ever tried. I used that in Aqua 4 and that's it. Um, but I literally have minimal makeup here. We're not trying to go nuts, but I want to actually try to tan my face because I like strongly believe that I did not because I still look like a ghost, mm -hmm. but my hands are brown. So I'm like, where was the disc? I mean, the disconnect is obviously the amount of wine that I had, but, <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to get ready. It's also 12 degrees outside or is it warming up to 12? It's 13 and then it's negative one at the top. Okay. Negative one at the top. I can't remember the last time I skied in conditions like this. Normally it's like 20. Why did I just say 20? Yeah, <laughs> Normally it's 20, but I don't know. I'm gonna put seven layers on. I'm just gonna accept the fact that I'm gonna be freezing though. Cause there's just like, especially my feet, there's just nothing that can help it or my hands. I have feet warmers. Okay. Yeah, and Marina, she was like, I knew you would want feet warmers. So I bought you some. And that is, you know, the best thing that's ever happened to me. But um, hopefully it goes well. If it doesn't go well, we're just gonna go down to the lodge and have some cocktails. <laughs> Yes, Which is so, that's what I was saying was the difference between like skiing with my family and skiing with you guys is that like when I'm done, it's like everyone is done. Ten minute warning. Oh, you look so nice. Thanks. Ten minute warning. Girl, look at me and look at her. She's literally <laughs> fully dressed and I am putting on concealer. I can be ready in eight. <laughs> okay. Oh, here she goes. I'll be ready in All five. Right, Are you guys unbundled? I'm, I'm not even sure that it's going to help. But I have a sports bra on and then I have hot chilies and this North Face thing that I've had for so long. This is what I wear when it's like freezing out normally. I would wear 
like a crew neck sweatshirt, but I need the little turtleneck that's on here and it's just a lot thicker. And then I have my cute pants. These are from Volcom, but I just love snow pants and like the noise that they make. Um, they're also adjustable on the inside. And then I have, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I have hot chilies that match the top on the outside. And then I have my set of active leggings underneath. And then I have one pair of socks on because like the biggest mistake you can, you can ever think when you're going skiing is that two socks will be better. It's not because it cuts off your circulation. So I'm going to head downstairs and get my boots on and then we are going to go. And Leah is learning how to ski for the first time. So that's Marina trying to help her right now. She's currently going backwards. Leah, pizza, french fry. <laughs> And Jess is over there getting it on her camera. Just have her wait there until we clip it. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny, but it's also beautiful out here. But I have to go because you guys already know that my hand is more than freezing. But Marina's being a full-on instructor right now. She's such a real one. And then we have Jess. <laughs> We're getting it. Go Lee. everyone so I look like a little bit of an egghead now my friend Lauren braided my hair but it actually looks really good she's she's our designated hair braider and I wanted to have braids for skiing because your hair always gets so naughty I feel like if anyone out there skis or snowboards you know also I have a stain on myself because I just spilled orange juice all over my sleeve which is fine but it's around 3 p.m. now this cord looks like it's a flyaway but it's not um but it's 3 p.m. We are just hanging out now. Uh, it is still so beautiful outside. I'll show you guys. This is the view. Absolutely stunning. The sky was so blue. I, for some reason, did not get cold, like, at all. I wouldn't say at all. I think my hands, like, got a little bit cold at some points. But I'm normally, like, my hands are numb, my toes are numb, and I'm, like, a little bit miserable. But I think because it was sunny out today, it was just so nice and it just felt so good to be back out there i was like just happy to be there <laughs> um and just because i haven't been in a couple years and i just like forgot how much i loved it there were a lot of people though it was so so crowded like we were on lines for the lift probably for like a half an hour to 40 minutes at times um but we weren't out there for too long my one friend leah um as you guys probably saw in some of the footage she was learning how to ski today so we were going like just taking our time. It was really like nice and relaxing and that just made it more fun. Normally when I go with my family, we're like very much like we have to do run after run after run, which I also enjoy, but this was just like a different vibe, which I think was really nice. Um, so our plan for the rest of the night, we are possibly going into the hot tub, <laughs> which is outside. So, I mean, I've done it before. Like we used to go skiing every year after Christmas as like our family vacation with a couple other families and the house that we used to get had a hot tub outside but that was like five years ago and I don't know why I'm just like we're gonna be outside and I'm gonna be basically in my underwear and it's freezing so we'll see how that goes <laughs> but I actually like do want to go it's just like something to like change it up a little bit because we've been in here for a little while now and we're playing games and that's the plan for the rest of the day we're just laying low which is so nice i was kind of like concerned because i feel like one of my favorite things about being in the city is that we always have so much to do and 
every day after work I have something to do which is like what I wanted basically but sometimes I was just like I and I've been feeling like this recently where I'm just like I just want to like sit and relax and do nothing which I do and normally I'm not the type of person to get FOMO but I felt like recently like if I stayed in on a Friday and like if my roommates were out or like one time Steph was home with me and I still like kind of felt like okay maybe I should have gone out but I just like sometimes just need to have the one day to just decompress from like the week which I feel like is reasonable honestly um but then I'm like conflicted with myself because I'm 26 and I feel like I should have like all the energy in the world and do all the things and so when I was coming up here, I was like, oh, we have like another weekend of like doing all these activities and I'm gonna have to be on it. I'm gonna have to be like talking the whole time, but it's not really like that. It's actually really like nice and calm up here. And like this group that we're with is just so like easygoing. Everyone's so chill. So it's been like a very nice relaxing weekend, even though we're like up here skiing. So that was nice because I feel like it was different than my expectations. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. There was like talks of us going into somewhere in town, but I am kind of in the mood where I'm like, I'm in like my post ski clothes and I just like want to stay in these clothes for the rest of the time. I do that every single time. I just sit in the same clothes all day long. Also post skiing nap is like the best nap you'll ever take in your life. I didn't get to take one today. I almost did next to the fire, but we started playing a game. So it kind of like kept me awake, which was good. But yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the day. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Just kidding. I found out that we are actually going to a bar in town. So I'm just digging through my suitcase trying to get like fresh clothes out because I told you guys that I have an orange juice stain on me. And I just feel like even though it's mostly dry, I just feel kind of like crusty like wearing this. But because I'm changing into my pink crew neck, I can't wear my pink set or my Canyon set active leggings. So I'm gonna change into this crew neck. And then I also have black leggings. Oh, these are my ones from Amazon. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do pink crew neck, black leggings, and then I'll probably put this hat over my braids because it is so cold out and I was fine when I was skiing, but I feel like when I'm not skiing and I don't have like seven layers on, it's absolutely freezing. So then I'm just gonna be so cold. So I'm gonna change quickly and then put on some deodorant, obviously, and then we'll get going. You guys, scratch that. I feel like it's not showing up on camera as much as I'm seeing it in person, but the hat looks so weird with the braids. Like, it just looks like I have like two little clip-in braids and it just looks like they're just disconnected from my head. I don't really know what's causing this and I'm looking at it on my phone screen and it doesn't look bad, but then I look in the mirror and I'm like, this looks like I have like clip-in braids. And it's just too weird. Like, I just don't think I can wear the hat. So I probably won't. And I think this is bothering me a little bit that I have my, um, these are like my hot chilies that I have on, like matching shirt and pants. And I feel like it's annoying me that I could see it. I don't know if I could just pull the crew neck up, but this is like an extra large. So I feel like it's gonna show. And I don't like these two colors together. This is just me being OCD. This is, I have a very small case of OCD, but it just, pops out at the most random times. And I guess right now is one of those times. Um, I'm also gonna put on a little bit more mascara because half of it, I cried off the mountain when it was windy. And when we were getting ready, my friend Lauren was like, oh, I'm gonna put on my waterproof mascara. And I was like, oh, it's bad for your lashes. Don't do that. We get out there five minutes in, I'm like crying from the wind and it was like dripping down the side of my eye. So I cleaned it up a little bit, but I feel like it's not like noticeable anymore. So I'm gonna just put, a little bit more of my Lash Paradise on, and then I'll put my boots on and then I'll be ready. But the more I talk to you guys about not wearing the hat, it makes me wanna wear the hat because I'm just really warm and it looks really cozy, but I just think it doesn't work. I don't know. Yeah, it just looks so weird. All right, it is Sunday now and I am looking like an absolute beast. Um, I just went and got my nails done because I am sick of the places in New York City literally charging so much money and doing like a mediocre job on my nails. And they're also destroyed from getting powder and 
gel and all that stuff so I took it off for a week I feel like this wouldn't be a vlog on my channel if I didn't give you a nail update so took off the gel just got it removed and just let my nails breathe they were like sore near like the white parts of my nails and then they basically all started to break so I have like no nails now they look so <laughs> tiny and reminds me I have to put my ring back on um and I just went and got them done at this place that my friend from home goes to because obviously we got back and I was like I really want to get my nails done and she was like I go to this place it's like near our houses because we live like a street away from each other and, and she said that she doesn't go to the ones in our town anymore because they charge so much which the guy that I used to go to my nails were like so long they looked really pretty and um I had two girls there that were really good and that's like who did my French manicures when I was doing like colored French gel manicures and they were really good but right before I left he upped the price of just regular gel color not even French to $45 and I was like sir and they did a really good job but I ended up the only time I had to pay that much was the last time that I went because then I moved out so it was fine and I don't mind paying a lot if they do a really good job and my nails aren't destroyed but I'm literally paying that in the city and they're not doing a good job and my nails are destroyed so yeah I went at home and this place was so good you can tell if someone's good at doing nails if you get like a really light color and they don't do it streaky and they look perfect so I might possibly just come home like every other Saturday just to get my nails done and obviously to see my family and stuff so I have a couple of other recommendations I literally just started asking people like I, this random um girls at a bar like came up to me and told me that they liked my sweatshirt and I saw her nails and I was like, where did you get your nails done? And I just like keep doing that to people, especially like if they share on stories and stuff on Instagram, I'm like, where did you get your nails done? So I have two salons that I want to try. Um, one of them is in Tribeca, which is kind of going to be easy for me to get to, which I do want to try it. And then um, another one that my friend Gabby recommended and that is in, I think it's on the east side, but I'm not totally sure. So. I have a couple of options, but I just like wanted to go to a place that I knew was good and um, my friend had been here and it was $30. Like that is so cheap. And like, I just don't want to have to pay an insane amount if I don't have to. So I'm really glad that I went. I had a very long day yesterday and I just wanted to sleep when I got home, but they close at five. So I just wanted to go and get them done and over with. And now I will go home and probably shower because I just feel so grimy. I've basically been sitting in the same clothes since yesterday morning, um, cause this is what I wore to go skiing, which is gross. Um, but we had such a good time. Like I was like so happy just to be out in the mountain again because I um, think I mentioned to you guys that I didn't go last year cause of my shoulder. And then I went once the year before, but I just don't go enough and it's so easy to get up there. And even if you're just going for the day, the drive was like an hour and 45, minutes I think and it's just so easy to get up there there were a lot of people though and my friend Leah decided that she wanted to learn how to ski so that was hilarious because she was just like eating it all over and, <laughs> and at one point she literally like there's normally like little like bushes and like small trees on the side and she literally skied into them and I had to and like popped out of her ski and I had to get her I literally fished her ski out of a pile of twigs so that was really funny um but we just like took it easy. It's just a very different vibe. So I was so happy to be there. And I literally um, texted my boyfriend. And I was like, I'm just so happy to be here. Like, <laughs> it was so weird. I was like, just having so much fun. And like, I wasn't even cold either. It was like 12 degrees. And for some reason, I just didn't even get cold, which I always get cold because I have Raynaud's, which is, um, I think I'm pronouncing that right. But it's when you have like poor circulation in your hands and feet. But I mean, my feet are always numb. It doesn't really bother me. But when my hands are freezing, that bothers me. So yeah, I was completely fine, which is great. Um, but now I think I'm going to go home and edit this vlog because I don't, this is the bad thing about me going away for a weekend, which isn't like technically bad, but I um, have to put this vlog up on Sunday instead of doing it on Wednesday because I wasn't home to be able to film a fashion oriented video so we're doing great so far i only followed the schedule one time in this entire year but i've been putting out two videos a week which is my goal anyway so um that's really good and maybe i'll just do like a handbag review 
um someone i put a question box on my instagram asking what you guys want to see in videos again just to like pull different people because um obviously there's like a surge in my followers over there so i just wanted to like regroup and if anyone was new and wanted to suggest something i wanted to make sure that i got all of those and someone asked to do like a what's in my bag so maybe i'll just pick my favorite bag out of my entire collection and do a what's in my bag i feel like that would be fun um but anyway I also slept with my hair in French braids because my friend Lauren braided my hair. You guys saw them. They looked really cute. Um, but I put my hair in French braids and slept in it. And then I woke up this morning with only one taken out. So I had one braid in and one out. Don't really know how that happened. I think because my hair tie fell out um, and then I undid it. But it was just like, it was a strange morning. I was not well. I had to take Tylenol. I never, I either don't get headaches after... Um, normally when I drink or if I get one I just normally don't take anything because I'm like I don't want to be a baby but I had like a really bad headache and then we went to a nice little place that was so cute for lunch it was like this um mountain has a really cute like downtown area and they have a bunch of restaurants we went out there yesterday we went to two different bars and the hot tub. Like, there were so many activities going on today. So I'm just, I mean, yesterday. So I'm just really tired today. Now I have to regroup and get home so that I can get this vlog edited and up. And then I'll probably try to film. That's like the bad thing about me not being able to work from home is that if I could, I could film a video during my lunch break. But I don't work from home, so I can't do that. And then it ends up that I have to, like, do all of my content stuff for instagram and youtube on the weekends which is fine like i think it's fun for me so um it's not like an obligation like i enjoy doing it but yeah it would just be a lot more convenient if i could get like outfit photos or something during the week i also cannot stop drinking water and i'm kind of annoyed because when i come home i didn't bring my bottle and um I'm using water bottles, which I never use. I always use like Brita water or what's the other thing? Brita water or like work has like refillable ones. Oh my gosh, the lighting right now. So gorge. Um, I think I'm about to drive into a snowbank. We're good. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. This is like a, you can even see behind me. Oh, this guy's turning out in the parking lot. All right, signing off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. I'm gonna try to do longer vlogs now because I love watching longer vlogs. Oh, is everyone trying to get in the parking lot at the same time as I'm trying to leave? That's fantastic. What is this guy doing? But yeah, so I'm gonna try to do, what's happening? You can come. Like you literally have the right of way. You can, oh, can you not fit? I don't know. This is like the biggest cluster. Okay, here we go. Thank you, sir. I mean, ma'am. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to do longer, ooh. Kind of drove you guys on a weird angle there um but i am going to try and do longer vlogs because i like watching longer vlogs and i've had people comment on the longer ones saying like please do longer ones and i just thought i was being annoying so i didn't want to do vlogs that were too long but apparently you guys enjoy it so i'm gonna try to do like maybe like half an hour ones because i think well i think some of my other vlogs end up being half an hour um or around like 25 minutes but i'll try to do like longer vlogs you guys are just this is the worst filming ever um but i will try to do longer vlogs so that you guys have more to watch during the week and i just enjoy doing it and like chatting with you guys anyway so works for me too um but i hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and i love you guys so much and i'll see you hopefully in my next video